Hey there guys, it's Dr. George here from thehealthybear.com.au and today I wanted to do a bit of a reader's question. I've been putting out a request for guys to send in some of their questions so I can get some answers for you. Now, I've received a question and it's quite a bit of a tricky one. So I'm going to do my best to share the information that's currently available about this topic. But let's get into the question. So the question has come from a reader who's currently HIV positive. He's been HIV for about 12 years. His statistics are really good and currently he's not in a relationship. He'd like to meet up with another guy and his preference would be that that guy be HIV positive as well. He's not that keen on condoms and his question is when two guys are HIV positive, what are the risks associated with bareback sex? It's a bit of a difficult topic because there's lots of different issues, but one of the main issues is what's the risk of HIV super infection? We currently know that it is possible to be infected by more than one strain of HIV and that when this occurs, it can lead to slightly higher running viral loads as well as the recombination of the viruses that can mean developments of new strains that may be resistant to the current medications. So currently, if you have a look at the data that's being released by AFAO, but also ASHAM, two of the big HIV organisations here in Australia, they discuss this and basically say it's not currently recommended, that we want to avoid um, the formation of new viruses and they, they recommend that people do continue to have safe sex even if they're with another HIV partner. Now, HIV positive partner, sorry. Now, the reason um, is partially is about this um, risk of recombination, but the other things to be aware of is that additional infections like gonorrhea, chlamydia and syphilis can also lead to blips in viral load as well, which can lead to an increased um, viral load, dropping of CD4, and that can lead to potential illnesses as well. I suppose the, the, the other crux of the question is though, what happens if two people are both on treatments and they're very good treatments with undetectable viral load? We know that undetectable viral load does decrease the risk of transmission of HIV, but we're not actually 100% sure what happens with regards to HIV super infection. So it's a difficult question to answer. And unfortunately, I can't give you a simple answer. With all of these difficult questions, there is no simple answer, unfortunately. So my recommendation would be is that it's very important that you and your partner discuss what your thoughts are and what your wishes are, but also to be open, be frank with your HIV specialist and be able to say, look, this is our thoughts. Um, can you talk to us about the potential risks? And then you can make a decision about how those risks affect you and what they mean to you. Um, gee whiz, that's a, it's a, bloody hard topic I have to say and I really wish I could give you a nice simple answer but I just wanted to share what the current information is about this particular topic. Um, guys I'd really appreciate it if you have any thoughts that you would like to share please pop them in the box below and I'll do my best to get an answer to you straight away. I hope you're having a fantastic week. Yours in good health, Dr George. See you guys.